In this video, we will be looking at integration of the natural logarithm function. The rule that we'll be using is the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus a constant c. For composite functions, the rule is the integral of 1 over u du is equal to ln absolute value u plus c. Now just a note, um, this is used um, if we tried to use the power rule. If we tried to use the power rule, and the power rule doesn't work, but if we tried to use that, and instead of writing 1 over x, we wrote x to the negative 1 dx. Uh, notice that what would happen would be you increase the exponent by 1, so that would become x to the 0, and then divide by the new exponent. And we have division by 0. So this is the rule that needs to be used uh, when you have a denominator that's one degree more than the numerator. The example that we'll be doing is we're asked to find the indefinite integral for the integral of 1 over x plus 4 dx. Now, um, if we let u equal x plus 4, we can see that du is going to be 1 dx. So we really don't need to um, use u substitution um, since uh, du is equal to dx, but we can. Um, this would become the integral of 1 over u, and then dx is du, so we just have uh, ln u plus a constant. And then we have to sub back in for u, so we would have ln of the absolute value of x plus 4 plus a constant. Uh, another example, this example we're integrating x over x squared plus 4 dx. Um, let's let u equal x squared plus 4. Then du is going to equal 2x dx. Now our problem has x and dx in it but we don't have that 2, so we need to um, get that off of that right side. And we see then that x dx from my problem, I'll be able to substitute in uh, 1 half du. So this becomes the integral of, um, let's separate this uh, 1 over x squared plus 4, that'll be a 1 over u, and then uh, times the x dx, and I'll put in uh, 1 half du. Now the 1 half can come out in front, so this is 1 half times the integral of 1 over u du, which we know is um, ln absolute value of u plus constant. Now we'll sub back in in place of u. We need to put x squared plus 4. So we have 1 half ln absolute value of x squared plus 4, 
plus a constant. Notice that um, x squared is always positive, and if you add 4 to that, you're still always going to have a positive number. So we really don't need this absolute value around the argument of our natural logarithm. So this becomes 1 half ln x squared plus 4 plus our constant. And then we can simplify even further um, by using the rule that says um, if you have ln b to the a, that's the same as a times the ln of b. So my uh, coefficient out in front of my logarithm, I can bring it up as an exponent on my argument. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this up here as the exponent on my argument. And so I have ln of x squared plus 4 raised to the 1 half plus c. And that we could write as the square root. So ln square root x squared plus 4 plus a constant.